Hey guys, it's Lorna from Kids My Plenty. Welcome back to my channel. So today, what I want to do is give you guys a quick flip through of my ha first half of the year in 2023. And also stay tuned on how I'm going to start my July planner. So let's put this all away for now and just take a look at my 2023 first year after the year spreads. This is my define your happy and how I did define it was I just have a whole bunch of stickers on this side. I actually used a notebook paper and my happy is planning, plans, family, self-care, and coloring. Um, and you can check out other people's define your happy by looking at the hashtag, hashtag define your happy with HP. So that was one of my favorite ones. And then it gets into birthdays. And then this one, I actually joined a mild liner challenge. And this was wellness and self care, where I just talked about what my wellness was and how I do self care. I basically got a Mambi stick girl, did these outlines from uh, Twinkle. From Twinkle plans, Twinkle her blend. No, oh, okay. From Christine, um, so amazing, and I actually won. So what they gave me, what they sent over to me, was a whole bunch of mild liners and pens. And I do encourage you to enter in any of those challenges when they have. You can follow Zebra Pen at USA and wait for what they have. And I just have uh, just filler paper in the front and going into January. So in January, I did look at this beautiful spread. I love it. Um, I went to Australia and New Zealand um, for about three weeks or so. Um, it was so amazing, had so much fun. And this was my New Zealand. We did go on a cruise and that is supposed to be here. So I'll stick that down. That's the cruise we went on. And then we came home to Lunar New Year, which I'm gonna say this is one of my favorite spreads. It's so colorful, the Lunar New Year colors. I just love it. And then this was my honey's birthday. And then this is my February currently. Another February currently, don't know where that came from. Um, and then going into February, so the Be Happy box came out um, for Valentine's Day, and that was amazing. Then I did a Squad Girls one. And then this is when I got a new book. Um, Let Your Dreams Guide You. I think I wanted to just do like a fun, you know, colorful spread. And I thought it was fun. And this was on the, this was Valentine's Day. My honey got me some flowers. And the note is actually on the fridge. <laughs> so fun. And then this is when the other Be Happy box came out. This was the I Love Stickers. And I just made, made a little dance party. So that was cool. This was my March currently. I did go to my brother's for about two and a half, almost three weeks. Spent time with my nephew. And then this is when the Tinkerbell line came out. I didn't go to go wild, but I did use the stickers from my the last go wild in SoCal. So I was able to use that. This is like a plants one, a sage. This is like officially spring, so I wanted to do this cool like Kirby thing. I thought it turned out awesome. 
Oh, and this is when I had joined the zebra pen and they sent me a little note. I don't know what happened to this page. What happened to this page? I have to go find it. <laughs> It'll pop up. Um, so I actually did this spread at my brother's house. And then this is one of my other favorite spreads. I just love the color palette. It's so neutral. I love my life. Oh, here it is. See? Maybe we can find it somewhere. Then I booked Austin. And then this was my April currently. Look at this fun spread. Flowery spread. And this is my May. I'm still, I'm, it's actually May 31st right now, so I still need to fill this out. I usually do it at the end um, of the week, of the month. This is my Spoonie Warrior. How cute is this? And then, so what I did was I used this really big, like, blue pen. And on the other side, it, like, bled through. And I covered it up with this, like, ribbon thing. And so basically that's my spread. And then I did this little flower pop-up, which I thought was cute. And then this is May, no rain, no flowers. More May. Um, I went to a wedding last week. And so I dedicated that. And, to the, and tomorrow will be June 1st. So you'll see spreads that I've completed, but not completed, not filled out yet because it's not June, but I wanted to do this moving into July um, um, video for you guys. So this is actually this week, today's the 31st. And then you'll see this coming out soon. This is a part of the new back to school release. Look at this, Squaw Girls in Summer. This is my Juneteenth. I'm giving you guys like all of the, all of everything, huh? Um, and then this will end June and then start of July. And then in the back, I usually have like, you know, filler paper, just random paper, skinny notes. And then these are my skinny, these are my sticky notes. And then just a little bit of, look at that. This is from Growing Modestly. I love these. Um... Like a little checklist. This is like flags and then extra stickers. And that's it. And that was my first half of 2023. I have a little bit of things to fill out as the day comes, but let's go into July. So as you know, the back to school release is out and well, it will be out at the time of this video. It's not out yet, but I want to go into the Fun Fleurs sticker um, planner and Sunshine and Happy Times. So I originally wanted to do, I always like to match my planners for the first year and the sec, uh, first half and the second half. And so I was gonna do first half with this and then second half with this so that when you're looking at my bookshelf, you'll know that these two planners are together because of the discs and I'm thinking I want to enjoy this planner now so I think with this one I might just at the end I might switch everything over before I put it away um, but I want to use this one sunshine and happy times and it's going to be the start of July to December so it's always half a year for me because I mean it's kind of this one's half a year and it's like filled up and then I'm gonna take away January and then use it the next time with a different planner And so I like to grab just my filler paper and everything at the end. I 
of this one. And then grab all these filler papers. And I really like the discs. It matches the the cover really well. So I really don't want to change them right now. And then this. is the end and then in the beginning I want it bad let's leave those there let's add to find your happy I like to add these because they're like birthdays extra filler paper. Let's add this. a sticker here but I have one ordered and I'm excited to add that on so once that happens you can see that and then this is the one that I put away yes and I will start this one in July which also has like a neutral layout so I love that I also wanted to share with you an overview of my, like my budgeting it's for this, for my job. So this one's in January, this one's in February, March, April, we're at May here, one more day. I'm thinking about buying something, but I don't know yet. And then I have it lined up for June. And then instead of doing another one of these for July, I was thinking I can just do it over here since this is extra paper. And basically this was a, like a plans and notes, I believe or checklist one and I removed all the checklists and I just kept the July here and this extra page just in case I wanted it and then this is for August and then it goes up until December of next year and then I have stamps and then this one is my 2023 goals this is like my habit tracker one. So this is my year in pixels, which is awesome. And then I have, these are like, I'm tracking all of my flares. And then this is my June. I already did July. These are my habit trackers. This is May, April, March, February, and January. Spring cleaning, books I've read, which I really haven't been reading a lot of books lately. Um, but I just, the, the thing that I wanted to share with you is my gratitude. So I have been keeping up with my gratitude. Um, every day I just kind of write, you know, one thing or a few things. And this one was April. 
And then I wanted to like start spicing it up with stickers. So this one's May. And then I've done July. I mean June. So this is June. And then I've done July. Yeah, so just a little flare of fun in my grateful, my gratitude. And then I want to do a quick flip through of my Skinny Classic. So this is January. So I just, honestly, I just put quotes in here. Yes, I do. You're so lucky to be here. And, you know, whenever I have time, I just go in and I find quotes and I just write it down. I think for me, it's like the decorating part. So I really enjoy that. This is Valentine's Day. Am I going too fast? Sorry. And then I'll start writing more quotes here. April, I love this one. There's May, and then June, which you guys haven't really been seeing yet because I haven't posted it. Look at this. And then July, that's it. And that was my skinny classic. Oh my gosh, I have other planners too. Maybe I can show you guys later, but thank you guys so much for tuning in to seeing my flip throughs, to seeing my flip throughs and my moving over into my July planner. And let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!